Welcome to Study Tips with Caitlin. But seriously, this is going to be study tips for high school and middle school in general. Just study tips in general because studying really does help. Tip number one, take breaks often because if you are just trying to like study like hardcore, you're more likely to get distracted and stop studying. So if you take breaks like every 20 minutes, it kind of like helps to give your brain a break. That way you're not like overloaded with information and you're not like hella stressed out. Tip number two, don't study the night before, but review your notes the day of. So by this, I don't mean leave all the studying until the day of because that's gonna fuck you up. What I mean by this is study within a few days before the test, but the night before, just relax, whatever, and then the day of your test or exam or whatever, just kind of quickly review your notes so you refresh everything. This, this works for me. I literally just, it, it works for me. I can tell you that for sure. Tip number three, chew gum while you're studying and then chew that same flavor gum while taking the test because studies show that the flavor does something in your brain, the stimulant, stimulants or whatever. It just kind of helps you remember the information better. I personally haven't tried this, but I'm definitely going to because it sounds like a really, really good idea. Tip number four, use index cards, make flashcards, uh, definition cards, just anything. Use index cards, it helps. I personally haven't done this very often, but whenever I have, it's like, I passed the test with flying color. Tip number five, highlight important things and things you need to know. So if you don't, if you're going through like your review package or whatever, and you're like, oh, I don't know that, highlight it so that when you go back through it again, you're like, okay, I need to study that more than I need to study everything else because I don't know it well. And don't just highlight the entire page because that doesn't help. Tip number six, do the review packages your teacher teachers give to you, if your teachers give out review packages. I know at least up until grade 11, I'm not sure if in grade 12 teachers still give review packages, but we still got review packages for like math, English, sciences and stuff like that if your teacher gives you review packages do them it helps so much I can guarantee you like and if he if he or she has like extra questions from like the textbook and whatever do those too because it seriously does help tip number seven actually write things out don't like just read it write it out because once you write it out it kind of sticks in your brain better at least it does for me on paper it's tangible you know you wrote it and it just I don't know it sticks in your brain better Tip number eight, study while sleepy. This is a scientific kind of tip, but basically study a few minutes before you're about to go to bed um, because apparently sleep helps like your memory. It kind of rebuilds your memory so the next morning you'll know what you've studied, but this doesn't mean just study the night before. But it just, I don't know, I saw this online and I thought it was a good idea. I'm and tip number nine, don't save your studying until the night before. I already said this. But cramming the night before does nothing but stress you the frick out. Space out your studying. So study for like 20 minutes at a time, like maybe for like two hours a night, maybe not even, maybe study for like an hour a night in the days leading up to your test or exam. And don't try to cram it all in one night because you want to get it done faster, you want to hang out with your friends and stuff. It doesn't, no, no. In the long run, studying for longer with shorter periods of time, kind of like working out. You know, it's better to do like shorter workouts in one big one than just kind of go full on because it just kind of, I don't know, it's just a bad analogy. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not a professional. Space it out so you don't get stressed out and you don't like have all of your studies cramming into one night. I hope you enjoyed the study tips video. If you have any other study tips, be sure to leave them in a comment or tweet me or something so I can learn your guys' study tips and whatnot. So I will see you all in the next video. Bye!